Yo, so I'm listening to the radio. I'm actually listening to the game on the radio. Um, When I was a kid, man, you know, I was always in the sports. And I'm talking about the Super Bowl, too, by the way. San Francisco 49ers and the Kansas City Chiefs. When I was a kid, though, I played a lot of sports and I love sports. It always seemed kind of weird to me to, like, listen to a game on the radio. I mean, that's just kind of like my my thinking process and how I like, I don't know, man. It was just like when you're a kid, I don't know, some some kids, they've they've enjoyed like radio ever since they were kids. And, I, and don't get me wrong. Like I, I like radio and I do radio. I mean, I do podcast, same fucking thing. Um, by the way, this is C4CW casting 495 Celebrities Worldwide. I am one Sir Grow, host of this podcast. And if you are true fans of this show, then I, we, 495, most certainly appreciate you. Um, by the way, I am going to go off on a tangent for a moment, letting you know in advance, um, before I get back to the 49ers versus the Chiefs. I got off the phone, man. I was talking to young scheme. Oh, I'm sorry, big scheme. Now he's not, he's not, he's not young anymore. I mean, still you know, young as in like relative to the observer young. I mean, we're still very young, but I'm saying now he's big scheme. I just, I remember when scheme was young scheme, he's big scheme. I got off the phone with big scheme. We had a great conversation, man. We talked about business 495L4 and, um, the, uh, Henry Westside, Henry Westside, um, or, or, Better yet, West Side, Henry West Side, um, fashion and clothing line. So that's Big Schemes clothing, and was checking it out, man. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Hearing what he had to say with all the updates and whatnot, man. And we were vi- by the way, free YC one, free Young Chili, the homie. Um, I mean that, man. Chili's getting out anyway. It's not like a matter of like having to free him or anything. I'm just saying, like, out of respect, like free YC1, free young Chili. Um, it's just a, it's just a small, simple violation. It ain't nothing major. Um, but uh, yeah. So I'm talking to Scheme, and he's telling me, um, that where he and I used to be with YC1. A.K.A. Young Chili, A.K.A. Walking Winter. That town that we used to be in, that's south of EVT, that's south of the EVT, or as some grammarians and English teachers might say, the EVT. You know, because you got to say the instead of the if it is followed by a vowel, which is e. Um, the EVT to be exact. South of the EVT is Lynn Wood that we affectionately refer to at times as Lynn Hood. Yeah, I said it. Lynn Hood. Um, Lynn Hood is adjacent to Edmonds. Yeah. And man, I remember when I I won't politicize anything. Um, I won't mention anything about a president of a school who was, uh, who was hemped up for involvement with one particular mafia. So that being not stated, Edmonds right on the coast, West coasting. Look, I found out, had no fucking idea that Linwood in the Puget fucking sound was in like, and I, you know, listen, he quoted a major, he said a major, a major weed publication. All right. So we're talking about like a magazine. Apparently it, 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 it made rank in said magazine is one of the top, if not number one, <laughs> number one. It's like in the top, man. It's one of the top cities in America for fucking marijuana, for weed, man. (laughs) Oh, shit. And looking back, 
And looking back, man, at what was going on back before weed was legal in the state of Washington, it it doesn't fucking surprise me, man. It doesn't fucking su- Listen, listen. For those of you who don't know, I'm just saying, we have international folks who are kind enough to support the show, and they are part of the audience, so we have to be diplomatic. So, for those of you who don't know what a grow op is, I'm just saying, like, and keep in mind, like, those of you out there who know what a grow op is, please don't laugh that someone in some other nation may not know what a grow op is and hasn't heard of and is unfamiliar with the grow op. A grow op is short for marijuana grow operation. And, uh... So without going into any particular specifics or details, there was a time, a long time ago, um, <laughs> song, you know, from fucking soundtrack to uh, the uh, Karate Kid, the original one, okay, with Ralph Macchio and R.I.P. Pat Morita. I'm talking about the song. Um, for those of you who caught that reference. So big scheme was, um, so back in the day, back in the day, man, when we were, when we were young, when I was young Grove, I didn't go by young Grove. I'm just saying that. But when we were all younger than we are now, I'd say 25 plus years ago, statute of limitations, um, time ago. And again, I don't know anyone in particular. Um, who might have, you know, had one of these, but it was pretty well known among the community, man, that there were a lot of different homes. <laughs> there were a lot of different homes in the Puget Sound, Pacific Northwest, uh, Washington State, that is, specifically, that, um, you know, where people had, uh, grow operations, man. They had grow ops, which back then, and I don't know what the laws are now, so this show should not be construed uh, as any type of legal, medical, financial, business advice. Um, <laughs> that can't be overstated. And also, um, all of uh, our content should be construed as nothing more than pure fucking entertainment. Some may say infotainment, edutainment, but definitely not any type of investment Financial market, business, legal, medical, fucking advice. Um, yeah, grow ops back then, man, were illegal. (laughs) And, uh, they were kind of ubiquitous, in other words, pretty much everywhere. And, you know, families would have their, like, kids and, like, husbands and wives, boyfriends, girlfriends. And, you know, people would go to work at their offices, you know, with their suits and ties and shit. And, uh, apparently... Somewhere hidden away beneath the uh, the the home structure there or somewhere therein, perhaps an attic. I don't know. I'm just saying I heard about these things. Um, yeah, there'd be some grow lights and uh, some lights and some lighting and some uh, apparati. In other words, you know, the apparatus that is uh, needed in which to um, facilitate the growth of uh marijuana and various uh, exotic strains. But yeah, that being said, again, I've never, ah, did I ever see one? Uh, <laughs> I don't think I remember, man. But the point is that, uh, yeah. So Lynn Wood, AKA Lynn Hood is, is one of the top ranked, according to some source cities in America or, and, or has been. Apparently, according to uh, reliable sources, for motherfucking marijuana. Marijuana, Mary Jane, a.k.a. motherfucking weed. Um, wow. I used to be there. I used to live there. Um, what a fucking coincidence. Man, why do you think they call it the Forever Green State? Or some might just say Evergreen State. We say Forever Green State. Same diff, yeah, semantics, but I'm sure you catch my drift. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Um, play on words. So, um, some people are scratching their heads like, I don't understand that one. You know, drift, smoke, drift of smoke, weed. You know what I'm saying? Same, same, same. Um, I had to take a line from, well, same, same. I had to take that from J-Rock from, uh, Trailer Park Boys. You know what I'm saying? Just cite my references. You know what I'm saying? Same, same. Shout outs to J-Rock and Trailer Park Boys. Man, I love fucking Trailer Park Boys speaking of weed, man. It's one of my favorite shows of all time. I need to catch up. I think I've seen like nine fucking seasons. What I love about Trailer Park Boys, man, is they said that they were never and are never going to stop doing them. And I'm like, yo, that is the shit. So you're probably like, bro, that's a long ass tangent. I'm like, yeah, only 10 minutes and 54 seconds. So back to Kansas City Chiefs and San Francisco. I don't know who y'all got for picks, okay? If y'all, any of y'all, have picks, I'm just being fucking honest, man. Listen, I'm not going to hide who I'm rooting for. Got to have a little suspense. Got to pause a little bit. Cats can think of man. I'm I'm rooting for the San Francisco for shout outs to the San Francisco 49ers. Someone told me it's not kosher, it's not cool to say San Fran anymore. And I'm like, really? 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 They're like, yeah, it's just uncouth. Yeah, people don't do it anymore. You're not cool if you say San Fran. And I'm like, what what is it now? What is the uncoolness? What is the politically in fucking correctness? When I was growing up, man, it was called San Fran. When I moved to the Bay Area of California, it was short for San Francisco, and it was San Fran. But apparently, motherfuckers just don't say that shit anymore. Whatever. One Sir Grove says, whatever. Or some... What do, what do they do on that Jerry Spring? Whatever. Whatever. So, um, babies, kids, babies, mamas, daughters, nephews. Um, yeah, that was a little extreme. But, uh, yeah, I like San Francisco. I do. And, man, I was always a San Francisco 49ers fan. I, I can't. I, I've never disliked San Francisco. Now listen, listen. I've never hated the Seahawks. Don't get shit fucking twisted, man. I don't dislike Seattle Seahawks. Shout outs to Seattle Seahawks. Look, man. My friends from childhood, my colleagues, my peers, they fucking love the Seahawks. Therefore, man, I can't fucking dislike the Seahawks, man. I can't. That's where I'm from. I got to respect that shit, man. I got to respect that shit, and I got to pay tribute to that shit. Absolutely. So, um, so yeah, that's a reality, man. Seahawks have done well. Uh, They've become a major force to be reckoned with. They are no joke. And, uh... Man, that's where I'm from, man. Washington State, man. West fucking coast. Um, also, shout outs to the Washington State Huskies. I fucking fly that purple too, man. Don't ever get fucking shit twisted. When we talk about the dub A, when we say dub A, we are in fact talking about Wa State, Washington State. So, um, gotta rock that W, man, that purple W. Um, I have always and forever been a Washington State Huskies fan. I've been to the University of Washington many fucking times. For those of you who know, I was actually there when I was four years old. (laughs) They said once Sir Grove was gifted and shit. You know, I'm just saying, you know, so... Hashtag WizKid Grove. Hashtag WizKid Grover. Um, I like I like the U Dub, man. The U Dub is dope. And I had a I have a relative who uh, retired, who retired from there, man. Worked there in a very uh 
in 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 a role that is uh is not a low not a low role and uh i have uh, a, fr- a friend of our family very dear close neighbor back in the 70s and 80s uh he played for the washington state huskies and went on to become a medical doctor and uh i know i had another friend from high school um who he was in the Rose Bowl. Um, he played for the Huskies. And he has a ring. A ring from the Rose Bowl win victory. And uh, another buddy of mine who I worked with. Um, who actually uh, offered me a role as a gang interventionist. Helping gangs find resources to decriminalize. I'm just saying, man, you know, man, we were doing mentoring, youth mentoring, young, young, uh, adult mentoring and, you know, bringing gang factions together, man, to play football and have picnics and shit to just cool the fuck out. Um, and he was, uh, he was a Washington state Husky as well. So, um, you know, man, look, I respect the Seattle Seahawks. Washington State Huskies, the Silver Tips, um, man, all the fucking teams, man, in in Washington State, man, all of them, absolutely, each and every one of them, the Mariners, man, the old school, I know, I know, they're gone, I know, I know, I know, they're gone, they went to Oklahoma, Shh, come on, man, old school Seattle Super Sonics, shout outs to all the teams from Washington. Um, yeah, so San Francisco 49ers, some of my friends despise the 49ers and that is their, uh, that is their, uh, you know, posture that is their, um, uh, right. And, uh, their opinion. And let's see what else. That is their, um, yeah, that is their choice. Um, look, man, I liked the fucking Bay Area, man. When I moved to the Bay Area, I was like, damn, the Bay Area is fucking dope. And uh, the only reason I didn't stay, man, was um, I didn't get along with my mother's uh, husband at the time. And, uh, and he was like, yeah, you can just stay here and, you know, graduate from one of these top schools like UCLA or you know, Stanford or like Berkeley or this, or that. And I was like, yeah, no, dude, I'm not going to do that, man. I'm going to bounce. Like, I'm not, fuck that shit. Fuck all that noise. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not, nah, nope, 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 nada. Um, yeah, man, I didn't get along with dude. So, uh, so I went to the boys ranch. Rode horses for the summer, hiked up in the fucking foothills and shit. I blogged about this, talked about it a lot of different fucking times. Uh, played Super Mario Brothers 3, that's the number after 2. And uh, beat the game for the first time. Uh, and let's see, worked for a construction company uh, based out of Oakland. No, wait, 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 wait. <sighs> Hayward, Hayward, based out of Hayward. I worked in Hayward for a summer and uh, skateboarded, and then I bounced. I was like, yo, I'm out of here. Um, I'm going back to Cali, Cali, Cali. I'm going back to Cali. Yeah, I might, though, Um, someday. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. You know, Hollywood type shit. Listen, listen. I like L. Shout outs to LL Cool J going back to Cali. He said, I don't think so. Um, I mean, but you know, he's from the East Coast. You know what I'm saying? He's 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 from out here. So, you know, it's all New York love out here. Shout outs to New York! Um, <laughs> these people are like, yo, man, this dude is tripping. But look, man, the San Francisco, I remember. I loved it, man. I loved it. San Francisco's fucking dope. And also, it is where the Starfleet 
Federation is based in Star Trek. So how the fuck can you hate San Francisco? You know what I'm saying? So, um, listen, man, I like Tech 9 the rapper, hugely. I am a mega fucking fan. Um, I would say that I am a technician. And, uh, and, you know, Strange Music, Chris Calico. Shout outs to Strange Music! Man, I heard that Tech 9 got the gig, man, doing the halftime show and shit. So, look, man, Kansas City's no fucking joke. They ain't a joke. You know, I'm guessing it's going to be a fucking solid game across the board. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be a fuck. I'm guessing it's going to be a close game. I, I, I mean, look, I looked at the last time they played, what was it? Uh, I don't want to give the wrong, was it 27 to 17? Is that what we're talking about here? Hold on, let me look it up. I don't want to give you all any wrong or inaccurate information. But, um, look, man, when I was a kid, before all these different, it, it was different. Like, what a lot of people don't talk about is when it was when I was younger, you could have several teams that you rock. You know what I'm saying? But now it's like people, you know, it's heresy to have more than, like, one team that, that you root for. And I'm just like, whatever, man. I have multiple teams that I root for. I don't even give a shit. Um... Yeah, so it says right here, 27-17, and it says that was the final score, and that was on uh, the 24th of September last year, 2019, and it says 27-17, uh, yeah, NFL preseason, oh yeah, and... Yep, San Francisco 27, Kansas City Chiefs 17. So I'm saying it shows the NFL preseason um, below, beneath beneath that information. It then shows um, the, uh, the numbers there. And so yeah, man. So yeah, so yeah, so yeah. So look, growing up, man, out west... I knew families that rooted for Seattle Seahawks. And, and you know, I, I get it. The whole thing. Dallas Cowboys, America's team, yada, yada, yada. Look, man. Notice, I, you know, look. Shout outs to Texas. That's a strong fucking state, man. In fact, according to military intelligence and U.S. intelligence uh, models, it's actually the strongest state. It really is. It, I, I, listen, it is. It is. And um, so Texas is no fucking joke. Albeit I'm not a Cowboys fan. Just got to put that out there. Um, Nope. Uh, so, but when I was younger, there were families out west that would root for the Seahawks. As well as, believe it or not, also be fans of the Redskins simultaneously. Because, I mean, come on, man. It's a D.C. nation's capital team. And uh, the Skins used to do really well. And we'll see how they do, man, with uh, Rivera on their on their side now. Uh, you know, practicing them plays and executing them plays and what have you. <clears throat> so... You know, man, I hope the skins fucking do better than they have, Ben. But, uh, look, I'm a New York Giants fan. I'm a New York Giants fan. I like the New York Giants. Something about them. They just represent New York. You know what I mean? And uh, they've been a good fucking team, man. I like New York teams. I like the Yankees. Um, When I was a kid, man, I even had Baltimore Orioles. Man, look, I like the West Coast and the East Coast, okay? So when I was a kid, I had Orioles gear. I even, you know what, this is because, you know, growing up in America, I've had a lot of sports gear. I actually used to have Astros gear too. Yeah, I had Astros gear um, back, back in the day, long fucking time ago when I was like, shit, like eight years old, like seven, eight years old. And, um, man, that fucking, that, that clothing that I had back then, man, if I had that shit today, it'd be worth a fortune. I also had a Mariners jersey uh, which would also be worth a fortune to this day. But, um, 
The families that rooted for the Seahawks and the 49ers, 49ers, San Francisco 49ers, if you can believe this, okay, if you can believe that, they, they also, I, I know, I know these families who they are to this day. They had several teams that they would that they would go with, man. We would we would go for the Seahawks, for the Redskins, for the San Francisco Giants. Yeah. San Francisco Giants. I also used to have Oakland A's gear. I had Oakland A's gear. And I actually saw Jose Canseco play. I went to a fucking baseball game um, in Oakland. And I was in the stadium, in the stands. And I saw, and I saw Jose Canseco. Uh, And I told y'all before, if you follow the podcast, that uh, some kids threw a fucking pop can. Adam, this is back in the day, man, when they didn't have all the fencing and all the different shit that they have in play now, like post 9-11 with all the security shit. It wasn't anything like that back then. There wasn't anything like that back then. And we we went to a game on one of these off days where, I mean, look, it was an Oakland A's game, but, uh, you know, it, it wasn't an empty stadium, but there were empty seats, a lot of them, you know what I mean? And, yeah, there were some fucking kids who threw a pop can, threw a soda can for those of you. I, I say so. What am I? See, that's what I'm, I get to thinking about uh, the dub A, Wall State. They say pop cans out there, man. They say pop. Yeah, they say pop, you know. I, I, I now say soda, you know what I'm saying? Um, and, of course, it depends on who you are. But, like, growing up out west, man, they were, they were pop cans, pop cans. Um, yeah, some kids threw a soda can, for those who don't know what a pop can is, um, they threw a soda can at Jose Canseco. I was like, wow. And then, of course, they got chased by security. But I've always liked San Francisco teams, man. It's true. And I was really fucking surprised when I saw, uh, earlier in the year that San Francisco was doing as well as it has. And I was like, Dang, um, societally, you know, with the homeless crisis and shit in San Francisco, something really needs to fucking change there. They really need to get a fucking grip on that shit, man. Get a handle on that shit. But other than that, man, other than that societal issue, look, man, I don't have any fucking problems with San Francisco, man. I like San Francisco. I like the Bay Area. I liked, uh, when I was there at the time, man, also Alameda. Alameda was beautiful, man. It was gorgeous. It was gorgeous, man. And uh, you know that whole that whole area, man. That whole Bay Area, the weather. You know, man. Back in the day, before you know, shit was polluted. Like you know, different parts of whatever the atmosphere is now. I mean, there's always been pollution, but I'm just saying, man. Fuck, we're talking over quarter of a century ago. You know. So anyway, man. Um. I'm guessing that both teams, they made it to the Super Bowl. They're going to do fucking incredibly well. Let me see uh, what the score is right now. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Super Bowl. Just in case y'all are wondering, I'm listening to it on the radio. I'm not not watching it on uh, on the screen here. I did last year. I did last year. Oh, yes, I did. Hold up. I'm going to see the recaps and shit. Oh, wow. Wow. First and 15. Yeah, damn. San Francisco, three. And Kansas City Chiefs, seven. Second quarter. Dang. See, man. See, this is going to be a fucking close fucking game here. What does this say? Uh, pro football, pro dash football dash reference dot com. All right, so we're looking at um, previous dates there for the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. Let me see if I can get some additional intel here for someone who's not watching the fucking game at the moment. What is it saying here? New York Post. What does it say? Headline, New York Post. Quote, 
Super Bowl trivia and fun facts to bring to your 2020 party. Okay, that's cool. Um, NBC says, quote, even before kickoff, referees to make history in Super Bowl. All right, let's see. Sporting news, quote, Super Bowl halftime show history list the best worth list of best worst performers of all time. Who is doing the Super Bowl half uh, commercials this year? Super Bowl commercials 2020. Let's see what we can find out about that. Oh, wow. <laughs> is this for real? Rolling Stones, quote, watch Bill Murray return to Groundhog Day in a new Super Bowl commercial. Yo, that's dope. Man, that movie, if y'all haven't seen that movie, Groundhog's Day, I was literally just talking about Groundhog's Day the other day. Oh my goodness, right here. Bill Murray. Oh my God, this is dope. This is a Jeep commercial. Quote, in the Jeep ad, Murray's Phil is once again trapped in a time loop. (laughs) What a fucking coincidence, man. What a fucking coincidence. 